guys, how's it going? Murky HD here and welcome to FIFA 14 101. Today I'm going to be giving you the best setup for Chelsea, the formation and also the team. So I've decided to go for the 3-5-2 formation. I think it's best considering Chelsea have so many attacking players and the defence is pretty solid. Set and and goals, Peter Cech. Uh, right centre back is going to be Ashley Cole. Centre back number two, Dav Luiz and John Terry out on the left. You could probably swap John Terry in the middle because he isn't as fast. Two centre defensive mids, Ramirez and Frank Lampard, because Lampard's passing ability is going to greatly improve the team. Eden Hazard out on the right, Schroeder, if that's how you pronounce it, probably isn't, out on the left. Willian, centre attacking mid, Eto and Torres up front. Onto the bench, we've got Swartzo, Aspilicueta, uh, Ivanovic, you could probably swap Ivanovic, to be fair, you don't need two right backs with Gary Gahill. Uh, you've got Michael Essien, Joan Mata, um, you can have Mikel, I don't think you need him again. I'd probably go for Dembaba just for your extra striker, as if you don't have enough. And then you've got Oscar. Uh, the bench and the results are quite good, but you really don't want much other than that. There are many great players down there. So Peter Cech to him, he's got pretty much amazing stats all around, 85 rated goalkeeper. His only bad thing there is kicking on he's 73, his reactions are 85 and other than that there's not much to him. He's 30 years old now, he's 6 foot 5, he's got the traditional save sign style and that's basically it. He's trained through, he's a, he's a team player and he's got the goalkeeper long throw. So then into the centre backs we've got Ashley Cole. As you can see there, he's still keeping quite pacey for a man of his age. He's getting on now. He's got eighty six stamina, so he's gonna keep going. Interceptions of eighty two, crossing of eighty three, which is very handy going up the left wing there. Um his markings are eighty one, his passing is eighty one as well. His sliding tackle of ninety two and standing tackle of eighty seven make him essential to your team. Twenty one years old as well, he's only five foot nine, so he isn't very tall. Um, he's got a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive so he's not ideal and uh, yeah he's an all around good player and his specialties as we can tell are tackling so then into the centre back you can put John Terry in if you want I don't really like him as a person but as a player he's quite good I guess he's got 84 strength and 82 reactions 88 aggression and 83 interceptions 90 heading accuracy 83 marking 83 sliding tackle 85 standing tackle he's 31 years old he's 6 foot 2 High defensive, medium attacking, so that's pretty much ideal. He's a power header, one club player, and he's no real specialties. Then Dav Luiz, we just know that this guy's overpowered. I mean, his stats all round, they look all right, not too good. I mean, 80 jumping, 84 aggression, 80 interceptions, 82 heading accuracy, and 82 sliding tackle, 82 standing tackle. Over, overall, he's a great player. He's 25 years old. He's six foot two. He's got high attacking, medium defensive. And um, yeah, he's a great all round player. Look at his traits. He's got the long throw in, power free kick, flair, long pass, or long shot taker. We saw that last season. He's overpowered. He's amazing. Then, as the centre defensive mid, I go for Ramirez because he's an all round brilliant Brazilian player. I mean, look at those. He's got great speed and he's also got great stamina. His interceptions are very good and he's a perfect centre defensive mid. Great ball control, great dribbling, great short passing. Uh, is exactly what you want and his tackling isn't too shabby as well so he's 25 years age of years of age he's 5 foot 11 high attacking high defensive so he's pretty much a box to box player and he's going to be great in your team and he's got the engine specialty then we've got Frank Lampard, not as quick these days, but he's still an amazing player. I mean, look at that attacking positioning and vision. I mean, look at all these ball ones. 89 penalties, 85 long pass, 86 long shots. I mean, he 84 short pass, oops, sorry, um, and 89 shot power. He's a great player and he's a legend for Chelsea. He's 34 years old now. He's six foot, so he can get those headers. He can play as a centre defensive mid, that's why I'm playing him there. Medium attacking, medium defensive and a four star weak foot. He's got the power free kick, long pass or long shot taker, one club player and team player traits. His specialties are he's a distance shooter. Onto the right mid, Eden Hazard. We know this guy's a great player. Look at the speed off him. He's great. He doesn't have an amazing stamina, which is unfortunate. Uh, he's got all one great um, stats. He's a brilliant playmaker. He's going to be crossing the ball in off the right or left wing there. He's a great player, really, and um, he's very good all round. And uh, he's essential to your team, really, if you're going to be playing with Chelsea. He's only 21 years of age still, guys. He's five foot eight. He's got high attacking, low defensive, so he's perfect. He can play left or right mid, depending where you want him. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. Perfect player. Finesse shot, flair are his traits, and his specialties are being a dribbler and an acrobat. Then onto the left mid, Andrea Schroeder. 
I'm not very good at German. Again, another speed demon here with 92 acceleration. Again, stamina not amazing. He's, he isn't as good as Hazard, but he's got some great stats overall. I loved him in FIFA 13. I think he's going to be great. He's only 21 years of age. Six foot, so he is quite tall. Um, that's very handy. He's got medium attacking, medium defensive, four star weak foot, four star skill moves, a long shot taker. He's got the specialties of being a dribbler, a distant shooter, oops, and an acrobat. So he's all around a good player and he deserves his place in the team. Then Willian, I'm playing him as a centre attacking mid because personally I believe he can play there. The game I think so, but I think he's perfect because he's got the speed and uh, he can supply the balls into the strikers there. I mean, look at these stats. Very good all around at short passing as well, which is important. And 89 dribbling going to make him very tricky. He's only 24. He's 5 foot 9. And he can play as a centre attack. He made I knew he could. Uh, he's from Brazil, obviously. High attacking, medium defensive, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Flair, dribbler, acrobat, perfect. Um, then into our strikers, Samuel Eto'o. He's very quick still. Uh, even though he's getting on in a, in his age. His strength at 65 isn't great, but he still makes up for that with his speed. Uh, all around, he's a great player. He's going to finish most uh, goals for you. He's 31. He's 5 foot 11 now. Um, he's got a high attacking, medium defensive, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. He's going to be very tricky. He's got the speedster and acrobat specialties. So yeah, he's perfect. And partnering him, Fernando Torres. Most people don't like him, but in the game, he's pretty decent and... Uh, Personally, I'd pick him before Demba Ba. Uh, he's going to finish most chances for you. Mightn't do it in real life, but still. At 6 foot, he's got a uh, great heading there. Well, it's going to be handy for heading. He's a little bit taller than Eto, so that's going to help. He's got 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves. A high, a medium attacking and a low defensive, so and he's got the finesse shot trait. So he's pretty good all round. Um, then onto the bench, Mark Swart, so he's a great player. And um, it was a good signing. Aspilicueta, mm, he's always he's handy to have. Gary Cahill, another handy player. Essien could easily go in for any of those two. He's got great stats. So can Oscar. Dembaba and Joan Mata. Um, I didn't pick Mata because, uh, I mean, like, he can play on the right. And, you he, yeah, you could throw him in and swap Hazard around because Hazard can play on either wing. And, to be fair, I probably would do that because um, Schroeder, his extra pace would help out. So, he would just, just do that, basically. And Mata, I mean, 85 acceleration, 90 agility, 88 reactions. He's a great all-around player. 87 attacking position, 89 vision. I mean, look at the ball control. 89, just amazing all-around stats. Uh, he's very handy. He's only 24. Um, He's got his four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. He's um he can play as a centre attacking mid so if you don't want to play William you can play him in there, and he's got three star weak foot he's got the finesse shot and flair traits he's a dribbler playmaker and a an acrobat, to be fair you could put in either player whichever one takes your fancy, um Schroeder is a great player and his speed could be handy off the bench, but he does have the long shot trait that um Mister Mata doesn't have but Mata is a better playmaker overall. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll see you again probably on Friday, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.